Nick Cannon mornings on Power 106. It's time for those up close and personal conversations, just close conversations with people that I admire, that are doing big things and that are fixtures in the game. And this person is all of the above, yeah. making it happen. Somebody that I, I've known for a minute, been, been making it pop off. Thanks. Young and May. What's good? What's good? Cannon, what's good? Come man. on, you know, see, we go see, back. See, last time you was making fun of my braids, and my <laughs> braids are just like your braids right now. I cut my shit off. Man, you had bees and shit, <laughs> man. You had some extra shit going bobos and barrettes, man. <laughs> nah, 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 that's what's up, though. Yeah. Now, um, I just want to get to it. You've been just, as an MC, just bodying everything lately. What's all your you, you, what's all your with your chest? What you 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 going at people head like <laughs> you, it's it's a different mentality. Yeah. I mean, well, first when you first came out, you was definitely like yo, they, everybody was like yo, who the fuck is right, this? Was this right? <laughs> like right, like right. just rhyming Curious, bars. Right. Then I felt like you was just like I right, I'm I'm here. I've established myself. Mm-hmm. I'm chilling. I ain't gotta I ain't gotta be rah rah in everybody's face. Right, but right, now right. that beast is back. What <laughs> where is this coming from? It's in me, man. That, that don't never leave, bro. You know right. what I mean? Like it's just something I put to the side every now and then and just be like, hold on, you chill right here and when it's the right time, I'm gonna bring you back out. You yeah. know what I mean? But uh I've been in just album mode, man, and just trying to get people just another side of me, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, and now one thing that I feel like is always been undisputed and that you don't even really get the, the credit for. And we we're gonna get even deeper into that of right, why right. I feel this, but just you as an M C like a lot of times because there's all of these different conversations going on yeah. about, you know, dopest female rapper, dopest rapper, top right, five, right. all that stuff. Right. And for someone with the level of bars that you present, that why do you feel that sometimes you not you you you're left out of those conversations? I know it ain't because of me. You know <laughs> They're just mean? ignorant like, to it. They, that's just some. I guess people cheat. Is it? To, I, I, to okay, I'll put it out there. Not Maybe because sometimes they don't know where to classify you, because like that. That's where. I, I didn't never when people, t- I never said. I I always told people how to classify me. I said I'm just young and made. That's yeah. the only thing you got to classify me. Even like that's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't. I don't feel uh, uncomfortable with, or or feel any type of like. Uh, animosity or any situation like disrespected just because somebody not putting me in a category with this category or that category right just the fact of people alone just saying that young and may is dope you know what i mean she's up there she got bars she's spitting like i appreciate that yeah. i don't need to be compared amongst to others anybody else. yeah i'm Whether i'm comfortable male, female, right none it don't of that matter stuff. to me so i feel like the 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 game and industry is so used to Category, yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. So in my eyes and how I see it, it's like, yo, listen, thank you. I'm grateful to, for the fact that you even acknowledge that I'm a dope MC. Right. Because that's what I work so hard for. I don't need nobody telling me I'm trash. Yeah. Now that was that's another story. You know right. what I mean? It's like, damn, <laughs> I'm not trash, you yeah. know. But the fact that people still acknowledge that I'm a dope artist and all, I don't need you to compare me amongst others, bro, because I know yeah. if you don't know how to identify me, then you're not gonna identify me. You know what I mean? You're just gonna <laughs> say Hey, Young and May is dope, man, yeah. and and I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be top here in this yeah. category, top here in that. Court. One thing I could definitely say, hands down, and this is and this is a big list for me. You're definitely mm-hmm. one of my favorite Brooklyn MCs, mm-hmm. and when it, because a Brooklyn MC is a different kind of MC, I, exactly. and the caliber because some of the best to ever do it is from, are from Brooklyn. Absolutely, but there's the, there's this in your face, no holes bar type mm-hmm. of flow mm-hmm. approach is very New York is very mm-hmm. authentic mm-hmm. you know what I mean like you can't be from Brooklyn and be something that you're exactly, not absolutely. and it's just like even in some of your recent freestyles I heard it's just like yo we on that we we take your shit yeah <laughs> like, that's it like you know and, what I mean and from from the J's the Fabs the Bigs yeah. Like for you to be up in uh, up in there holding your own, being right. from Brooklyn, like is that just something that's in the water in Brooklyn, or is it, uh, is it because you because of the greats that came before you, you gotta right. kind of reach that level, or what is it about a Brooklyn MC? I think it's just it's just how I grew grew up into into the hip hop scene, you know what I mean, and just studying it and paying attention to everything because that's something I chose to do, right? You know what I mean? It's something I loved, it's something I wanted to be, it's something I wanted to do, so. uh like, from a kid, I was just paying attention. I was studying the game, man. Right. And I knew where I was from at the end of the day, no matter where I went, because I, I my mom done had us so many places around, you know what I mean, on the East Coast. Like, I don't live in Virginia. Right. I lived in Georgia for about 11 months, you know what I mean? Oh, but I'm wow. officially from Brooklyn, and then I was later on raised in Brooklyn again, you know what right, I mean? Right. So, no matter where I went, I still kept that 
Brooklyn vibe because my mom's is from my whole family from Brooklyn. You know what I mean? So the household was still Brooklyn no matter where we went. Right, right. You know what I mean? My mom played music that still was from New York. You know what I mean? It ain't matter where we went. So I always kept that with me because it was something I love to do. I love music. Right. And and it shows. I mean, mm-hmm. you take your craft very seriously. And, you know, tell me about the new project. I mean, why why I I'm I've noticed some differences, you know what I mean? And I feel like I've noticed more of the differences just almost like the approach. Right. You know what I mean? The business approach. I think you're one of those people that came in the game initially that I always respected that was like, yo, I don't need the majors. Yeah. Uh, I got the streets. And you took a very street approach with releasing your music. But now I feel like it's you you kind of grown beyond it. You still locked in right, on right. the streets, but now I feel like, oh yo, she's 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 doing it like everybody else does it based off of like, yo, all platforms. I'm about to say it's yeah. like you know, we still moving like how the, 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 the labels is moving, but we do acknowledge the fact that the labels do have more power right. and more position. Like I know that. So did you did you know that from the gate? Is that something yes, that you had to learn? Of course I knew that. But you knew still that chose like, man, I fucked them. I'm I rocking looking, with me. I'm looking more longevity and this right. and I had to understand I just kinda really concluded this understanding about this about me is that yeah, label probably could have did so much for me. Yeah. But a label don't know me because I'm somebody that was never ever seen before. Mm. I'm no nobody ever seen nothing like me. Like right, it's right. nobody like me. Facts. I don't care what nobody say. I'm very different. And that's why so many people have a judgmental approach about me and don't really know where the category because yeah. they don't know me. You know yeah. what I mean? They don't understand how that I come about yeah, yeah. sometimes, you know what I mean? And, and certain things that I speak of, like I'm real mysterious on my personal life and how I allow people in my life. Right, right. So I feel like with the label, the label, yeah, they was going to know what to do at the time because yeah. I'm popping. Because yeah, like, you got yeah, the hottest we, record You got the, the hottest record. It's like, oh yeah, let's get her. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And that's how I looked at everything. I didn't look at everything like they really cared. I had to admire that move because I remember watching y'all and I'm like, yo, I, so I'm, I, I, I saw the bidding wars. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I saw everybody and you just like, nah, I'm gonna just keep doing me. I'm gonna just keep doing me. I was like, yo, are you turning down bags and all? Like, that, to be able to stay so authentic to who you are Mm -hmm. and and keep it as street as possible Mm -hmm. and then to still, because then then you'd have the haters who were like, oh, well, she ain't gonna sign over here then it ain't gonna work. Right, right. And then to, Keep on going in the because we consistent. still got them calling. They still are, oh right? yeah, as they oh, should. Yeah. Be, they that, look and they know. They like, oh damn, like she's she's still doing like numbers and she yeah. even signed like you know what I mean. And she even fell back and she come back and she's still doing like twenty million a month. Yeah, on a video. That's crazy. From who? But like yeah. this from without me. the machine. This is me. It's you and your fans. You understand know what I'm saying? Like. And I like that. Yeah, like, nah, bro, that, like, shit is, that lets me know everybody it's can't say that. Yeah, that's For real. real. These lot of cats out here be saying they're independent. Don't be independent. Nah, man. yeah, they be they be independent to everybody else, but they still got a, a major backer kind of pushing yeah, on them. Yeah, major backer. Yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah. I, trust me, I've been been a part of that. But mm-hmm. that would actually, I, I want to bring up something that's a little bit more serious, but on the same topic, being the fact that. You kept it independent. You kept it real thorough. Mm-hmm. The streets love you. Even with your music, how do you know, as someone who comes from it, what to talk about and what to keep authentic and be like, yo, that that might be too street. That might be too mm-hmm. real. Because right now, as we know, there's a lot of talking going on. There's mm-hmm. a lot of people. And, and even just based off of association and who right. knows who and who right, you right, affiliated right. with and we as we know when we listen to your records you let us know where you from we let mm-hmm. us know what you rep absolutely does that ever be like ah yeah we probably can't say that of course we, you know what yeah. i mean like, like i'm i'm in that i'm in that position now like even on this album like, like who you, I you used gotta to know be? who's really to the left of you i'm about to say you know what i mean like for real and then people don't understand like before like the, sh- the street vibe was cool because I was already, I was literally coming from the streets. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I didn't understand the industry yet. I didn't right. catch that wave yet. I didn't yeah. cross over yet. So anything I did was literally from my experiences and something I've been through or I experienced from someone right. else. And uh, as I got into the business and, and, and had a more understanding of uh, certain things that need to be said, need to be done, you got kids watching. You know what I mean? You got brands. You got people that, you know what I mean? So it can't just be about the street. 
too much. You know right. what I mean? It can't be Especially always just thorough. Them alphabet boys is listening. Yeah, you know what I mean? They <laughs> is. And I'm thinking longevity, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's where my mind is at. That's where I'm positioned because to me, music is definitely an outlet, but it's everything. It's other things that come with music. Right. Not just making music. You know what I mean? Right. And so yeah, and you spoke on actually being private and private for a, a bunch of reasons. Right. And it's it's interesting because you know, and even we've joked about this and, mm-hmm. and stuff right. on right. on, on Wild and Out facts, and all of that. But still, like people are super interested in your personal life and your orientation and, and how you move and who right. she dating now. Right, right. And sometimes you give them a little spice, you fuck yeah. with them a little uh, bit. Of course. Dude. But but then some. But <laughs> but I feel like again, we've never been able to figure you out and how right. you move. How do you do that? Because I can't do that shit. People stay in my business when it comes to that shit. Yo, man, it's because. And I and you do you like you you really you still have a private way about you too like you're right. not all the way like I we feel like everybody, everybody like knew I say though. one thing about somebody I'm dating or somebody's and like but it's I get everywhere. that too I don't even I don't even gotta be dating them I right. get a picture with you right and they want a story so bad that yeah. they'll make it up. Fact. Just because you're next to them in a picture or your arm is here or your arm is and there. See, like, I feel like that's fucked up my actual personal it, life. Exactly. Because it now do. nobody wants to stand exactly. next to me in a picture. No, but I that's can't not be, your fault. I can't be seen with you because we're going to be on TMZ fault. tomorrow. That's not your fault. And it's cats out here. It's dudes out here that really want that attention. Yeah. They literally put it out there to, to say, oh, yeah, like, let them know that I'm doing this or I'm doing that. That's like, crazy. But you really want your privacy. And that's how I am. Yeah. So I really hold back. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I really hold back to the See, like a lot of people know people that I've been affiliated with, and when I say affiliated, I, mean, <laughs> I, I mean, like that. I'm still relationships. Who I've been affiliated with. I'm, relationships. I'm, I'm that shit. I'm, that's relationships gay. and you know other things. Right, right. You know what I mean? And and you know whatever, whatever. I look at it. I never chab in or you never job in it because when you do that, people take your words and misconstrue right. them. So if you you just don't say nothing, it's like, yo. Cool, like yo, just had that. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Because if I if I engage and if I say something, that's what they want. So they try to stare it up and say, "Oh yeah, but she said, da, 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 yeah." Da. You know what I mean? So I just be like, "Yo, listen, y'all think what y'all want to think, and then when I feel like it's official, then I'll put it out there." Yeah, and it goes back to like you said, that mystery that make you you keep them guessing. You gotta stay the mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, them, that, yeah, that's how on, you keep bro. them intrigued, right yeah, there. You I, can't I, I do see that. a game. I be, yeah, you I, can't do that. I see how they move around you. Facts. Shoot, she, she had all the wild and out girls going crazy every time she pull up. I, where her room at? I'm like, see, I ain't shit. Yo, you be having the baddies. It's not me. See, I don't want to take full credit, but we have a they team of, 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 of talented casting people. That uh, I always said that. I'm talking about from way back. I'm talking about yeah, way back. Early like, 2000s. you been rocking. Yeah, they don't, you an OG, for real. Like, I've been watching wild and out since y'all first permit. Like, nah, that's what's I up. I feel old now. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? But I was watching. As a kid, and you always had beautiful well and out girls. I mean, it was a that, tradition. That's that's one of the things, you know. It's like, it's like the price is right. You it's know what tradition. I mean? Me the you put a Bob lot of people Marker. on. <laughs> put a lot of people on. And speaking of, yo, every time you come through on Wild and Out, the ratings be crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, please come back. We yeah. we going again, but you set it off every single time. And and people don't usually get to see that side of you. Right, like, right. because right, everything is so serious, so right, street. Right. Uh, your bars is crazy, but like you come and you actually have a good I time. Have a good time, man. Like so, I mean, what? <laughs> why do you feel like areas like or when is the right place to be like? I right, I'm gonna chill here. I'm gonna let them know that I I can smile and kick it opposed to like sometimes when you just be at their neck. Well, my 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 supporters know. Like, right. They know what's up. They see me the silly side. Yeah, cause of you me. be oh you be silly on live. Yeah, I be like, on yeah, live yeah, yeah, and yeah. I be showing them that side of me. But then you can't just always give them that because it gets it becomes like they become immune to it. It's like okay, this is it may on live again. Right, what is she doing? Like you give them that, like oh yes, yes, like oh, I can watch her. Right, you know what I mean, and then right. you let it go. It's like leave that alone for a little while. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Back to work, back to business. Now this is this is who I don't feel like y'all should always be obligated. To right. feel like you can just always access me, right? Because at the end of the day, it takes away from your, you know, what I mean, your, 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 authentic, you know, authenticness and your, your, yeah. your, 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 your supereness, like yeah. your, that top notch, you know, what I mean, because you are like you are that you are a celebrity. Everybody right. shouldn't be able to access you, right? You know what I mean, and, and that's what separates you from being a celebrity and just somebody that's just 
on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the streets. You yeah, know what I mean? That's one hundred. Now speaking of celebrity and levels that you've taken it, you you are in that rare air of someone who's had what I call like a real hit record like mm -hmm. a one of it's a classic, classic one of like no matter what year when it come on they're gonna be putting this type shit in time capsules exactly. because like when people hear ooh like to this day it still it just sets any club off people know every way, single word is that a blessing and a curse to say like yo how do do I got to make another one of those? Like, are you chasing ooh again, or do you go the whole opposite way? And then to have that, have that, just like I ain't never experienced one of them records. One of them right, records right. where it's like, yo, it don't matter. Like, no matter what country you go to, right, people right. don't even know the the language they singing your whole exactly. record word for exactly. word. That's something special. But how do you live up to that? Uh, I I did used to look at it like a gift and a curse. It was always a gift. You yeah. know what I mean. Uh, I stopped looking at it like a curse because it was meant to happen. Right. Like, everything I do from the point, from the time I was born to the time right now was meant to happen in my life. You know what I mean? Like, I'm very spiritual. I believe in the most higher power. You yeah. know what I mean? So anything that happens in my life, I feel like it was, it was meant, it was planned out for me. Right. You know what I mean? And I made decisions. You know what I mean? And I feel right. like I made these decisions for a reason. So I never look at it as a curse because when I made that record, that record wasn't really purposely made. Yeah. Oh. You really? know what I mean? It no. Was just... It was just it was like spontaneous. It was it was fun. It was just in the spare of the moment type records. And I think that was my lead way yeah. to what I had to do in life. It was like the key. It was the golden key. So yeah. I don't never really want to look at that as a curse because no, I know I can't live up to that record. <laughs> I used to <clears throat> think that as a human being when everything first starts and of course like you gonna automatically think like damn like okay I everybody like this again. record yeah, can yeah, I do yeah. this again yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you get to a point was like the more you dwell on that the more it's not gonna come out that way yeah mm. so you you just That's gotta go back done. to that time zone and that, that mind zone where you was in that situation before you made that record right right you know what I mean you gotta allow that to naturally have it and I don't think that ever that situation could ever happen because at that time I was hungry I was gonna come about you know I was working, and yeah. then now that I'm crossed over to that side, and now I'm experiencing another lifestyle. Yeah, you're not as hungry no more. Oh, you know what I mean? That's real. That's so I don't never think yeah. I can live up to ooh, and I think everybody know that. You right, know what right. I mean? So it's like, so do you sit there and pout about that? Yeah. Or you try to find others, you know, alternate routes to try to just stay right involved you know right. what i mean yeah, because yeah. it's never gonna be i don't care what nobody say like <laughs> I like that is a classic record and it's yeah. gonna stay classic whether even if i had another record that's bigger than it and go past it yeah i still that feel still like no nope. first joint right that was your introduction so, right so yeah. even if it can't live up to that because that is the classic record nobody no matter what people when they see me they're gonna say that yeah it's like no matter how many records snoop put out g thing is g, g thing, thing. You know, of course, <laughs> like it's just we it. know, we that's know just, that. That's just we what feel it like, is. Right. So let's talk music right now. The one, what you, what's the song you excited about from Young and May right now? Uh because well, you got some joints out there right now that's buzzing. Yeah, I got the big joint right yeah, now. That's the, like my favorite record. Right. Um, and that was that was a fun. You know, that was like more of a fun side to me too. Yeah, yeah. Like People didn't get the experience like when you watch the video. Yeah. We kind of gave it a little more coloring and a little more funness and a little more brightness wasn't, to it. Wasn't too it's street. Not, it's yeah. not street. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And that's where where I'm at now. Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at. Wow. You know what I mean? Mentally, I'm more so like, come on, man. I, Until I came you from the see you freestyling and then yeah, going they, crazy. Yeah, that's what that's that's what I like is the fact that I don't ever think I can't still do that. Right. Because that's still in my spirit. Right. But right. But at the same time, like. I have I'm I'm like I'm I'm human like right. I have so many different sides to me I'm not just one way right or what you want me to be like I can be this way too and and that's what I really have on this album is just giving y'all this side of me that y'all probably didn't think I ever had in me right but I still got the street in me right I would never lose that and on this album honestly my favorites I would say the intro is like one of my favorites because it really sets the tone of the album. Like, okay. It's like one of those records where it's like, first of all, the beat is fire. And the way I'm rapping on it, it feels literally like an intro. Like when you come out yeah. to perform on stage, it just sets a tone. And I feel like for the album, it was perfect. Like in even my outro. My outro is one of my favorite joints too because not only- How many only joints in, in total? 21. Oh, okay. You, you know what I mean? 21. Serious. 21, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And the outro itself is like, it's not to me fully an outro because when you hear it, it feel like 
oh, it may got more coming. All right. So it's, it's ending the album, but it's letting you know, oh, she's she's not finished yet. Okay. You know what I mean? She has an understanding of what she's done in her past and how she got to the position she's in now, but she's also letting you know that, oh, this ain't this ain't over neither. Okay. You know what I mean? And yeah. so I I feel like the intro and the outro to me is just it just sums up the album and it gives it like a sandwich. There it is. You know what I mean? So we got to talk cuz I'm like I'm a dead ass fan like on some real stuff <laughs> just on ass. on how you put your words together. I've studied like I've been inspired and like, yo, I wonder, like, are you a, I, I'm going to write my stuff down and go in the booth? Or are you a line for line, punch in type? Because even when I see you spit, the, the thing that's dope to me, like, I don't see you searching. I don't mm-hmm. see, it seemed like it's just effortless yeah. because you got so much personality in, you, in your swag. You yeah. just, it's, it's effortless. Where a lot of people, you see them searching or they spitting something that's so written that it seems. I'm gonna tell you what. Yeah, yeah. Please re- dissect that. Like, how how do you put your your verses together? See, the difference too with some artists is that some artists feel like what they write and that music is a, a, uh just something that they do or a separation from them. With me, is this is a part of me. Right. This is something that I've like wanted to do for so long. Right. So when you see me physically expressing that, it's because it's instilled in me. So anything I write, it's me. Right, right. It is me. Right. You know what I mean? Nah, like I it's not. That. I'm not just rapping because I, I, I'm, I'm, not, not, not to be against anybody else that do what they do. But I'm just speaking of me. When other people rap, sometimes they rap off just being very uh creative. Creative. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, like paint a picture. You know what I mean? Like you, you paint a picture with me. It's not this is really who you are. This picture. is your personality. I'm, it's like I'm your conversation. I'm physically performing yeah. what I'm saying. Right. You know what I mean? I it's, dig that. Nah, that's because like it, it comes off very conversational. Yeah. But then because it's so complex with the word play and, right, the, right. and authentic, you be like, damn, it's, it feel like she just talking. Right, like, right, like right. Just, so that, I was always like, I wonder, like, did she, did she be rehearsing that? Like, did, <laughs> like even like, did you go and think this up? I'm like, oh, I gotta say this a hundred nah. times so it'll come off natural. Or you just from one flow to the to le- memorize it. Absolutely, you right. gotta listen to it a few times. But like, how how I deliver it? No, I don't practice how I deliver nothing. Really, it just that's just that's just my demeanor. That's just me. That's yeah. my presence. How where where did that come from? Like, who taught you that? Like, how like I what, had to teach me that. But was it like who are the MCs that influenced you? Be like, yo, coming up. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the the, well, the young 50. version of it. Really? Yeah, Fifty was one of my yeah one of my favorite rappers of all. See, time. like because somebody like Fifty, I say is a as a rapper is a different person mm-hmm. than he actually is mm-hmm. when he's actually you know when mm-hmm. you meet him. Yeah. Like, like no, I mean yeah. he just like his rap. I know I met him a few times. Yeah, yeah like he, his rapper yeah. is is a it's a different character yeah, yeah. Than, than Curtis. You know what right, I mean? Right, like, right, right. And I, he he seems like one of them people like. He's creative and he's gonna paint the picture and all right, of that right. and delivers it perfectly. Right. So I would I wouldn't that's that's interesting. Like I would definitely me personally looking back, it seemed very Jayish. Like, like Jay, Hove. Yeah, like No, I was gonna hope too. Like, so I fifty Jay, J. fifty was first. Fifty was first because when fifty came on the scene, as everybody should already notice, I was a fan because he was new, he was fresh, and I just felt like he was different. I just thought yeah. he was dope he was overall. <laughs> you know what I mean? They yeah, he was. Fuck. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah. He was just him, man. Yeah. And I looked up to that. Like the, to me, that was something that I felt like was in me, and I just didn't care what nobody thought either. So fifties, I don't give a fuck attitude. Attitude yeah. and just swaggy with it and yeah. talking that talk. And he ain't never really like when he rapped. It felt. Like he was delivering the same, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, that it swagginess. Was, yeah, he was smiling. He just smiled, at you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. He knew, he knew, he had the, that that charisma in him. You know what I mean? So to me, I looked up to that because I felt like that was authentic. It wasn't him just trying to be a rapper. Right, right, right. And now for some reason, even as a kid, like I seen through that. Right, right, right. I don't know why I just seen through that, and I I, I just felt like yeah, yeah, you know authenticity what I mean? of just being able of just, to just being come you through. and. Yeah. And just coming in there and just not giving a fuck to me, I respected that more. Okay, all right. And with Hove, it was the same way. Yeah. Hove came in the game, you know, at that time, he was going head up with Biggie. Yeah. Biggie had it locked. Yeah. So it was kind of difficult. But Jay-Z was always Jay-Z. That book was finest It was in him. He had that swag. He had that talk. He had that, that charisma about him. So when things finally blew up for him and everybody got to see it, 
you understand it now, but don't uh, people gotta understand this? Jay Z been this way yeah, before yeah. he blew up. Yeah, and I I definitely took a lot from Hove too as yeah, well. Yeah. Like Fifty and Hove, like they like to me on the same level. Right. As far as like where I got my inspiration from. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I hey that Fifty and Jay Z that's a hell of a co- combination. And right I remember there. they had like that little. Yeah, they was beef. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm peeped about that. a dollar. What the fuck, fuck is fifty cent? cent. <laughs> yeah, I, I seen that as a kid. A lot of people wouldn't even think I was young. I was a little younger. Yeah, but I peeped that. I acknowledged that. You know and what I mean? Had, and I liked that. That yeah. was like to me. That's what hip hop was about. It was like slick talk. Throw a little jab at him. Yeah. Now it's like, let me record a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cats ain't even rapping no more. Cats just, ain't just, even rapping. Cats. They they trolling each other. Trolling man. Now do you do you ever get caught up in 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 the troll shit? Uh, only time I feel like I get caught up in the trolling is if uh somebody say something slick, you know what I mean, and and, and I kind of like tease at it. Right, right. But I'm not just a troller. Right. right. Because to me, like certain things don't bother me. Like I don't look at social, I don't take social media serious Seriously, because I know this is life. an outlet for people to express themselves. Uh, behind closed doors. Right, right. Facts. So it's not really you. You just happy that nobody knows is you. Right. And you can just say what you want to say. Right. And you really not happy with yourself. And that's how I look at social media. So I never take nothing serious. I understand people have their own issues. That so what's something through. that you would take serious? Like what's something like, yo, I got to go get in the booth? What makes young mm. MA say, I'm, I'm going to write some bars? My, uh, my, my, my personal experiences. Really? Yeah. So it's usually not even something that the world knows about Mm-mm. that that inspires uh, yeah, you. Yeah, I've been through. Oh hell yeah! yeah. When, when 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 I had a lot of little situations going on back when first things started popping. Right, right. That's when I made the eat joint. Oh okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's me. I don't go on social media on Twitter and type how I feel or make a video on how I feel. I go to the music because that's what I do. Right. That's what y'all supposed to know me as. Not no damn controversial person on video or tweeting this or writing that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You putting your you, you putting your history in they the bars. They gotta go in the bars. Listen there to these is. bars. You wanna know what's wrong? Yeah. Listen to my music. There it is. History in the making. That's as right. You, say. Now, you know, uh you my people, but I got my vest on, so I'll be shooting from the hip. I got to put you in the firing squad. Just easy questions. What well, not easy. Real questions, and you answer them however you want to answer them. Okay. Off top, we always start with this one. Loved or feared? Loved or feared? Yeah, pick one. You only can have one. If you'd rather be loved or feared? I'd rather be loved. I feel like people with that's feared is lonely. Mm. That's Ooh. deep. All yeah. right. I'm rocking with that. All right. Young and May's greatest fear, since we talking fear. Mm, my greatest fear. My greatest fear is losing myself. Mm. All right. Yeah, yeah. Lighten it up. Favorite movie? Pain and Fool. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's that. Always. Is. I can watch that movie a hundred times. Yeah, nah, that's, that's, that's one of them ones. All right. Best advice you've ever received? Best advice I ever received. Um, mm, damn, can I? <laughs> I don't got you know. I don't heard a lot of advice, but which yeah. one did I take the most yeah. serious? Uh, basically, you good being you. Yeah, like you, it's okay to be you. Just be yourself. And I still love you, and I got that from my mother. Oh, you know that's what I mean? Powerful. Yeah, ain't man. nothing like mom's words. Of All right, worst piece of advice you've ever received. <laughs> uh, back when you know I first started getting into the business, yeah, they told me uh, you might have to wear a dress. <laughs> Never <For> real, yeah. <laughs> Definitely yeah. glad this you didn't is, take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was like years ago. I'm like teenager wise. I'm like. Yeah, yeah. I don't that's, know what that's gonna happen. Black. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> glad you ain't take that shit. Yeah. I uh, favorite cuss word. Um. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> usually at the top of the that's list. That's usually at the top, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, fuck. Fuck you say all... fuck for everything, like, what the fuck, man? Fuck. That's, a, that's some yeah. Brooklyn shit, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, I got to say, favorite breakfast cereal? Mm. My shit just switched, too. <laughs> I was, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a healthy, like, cereal person. I don't oh, like right. the OG sweet. I like raisin bran. Yeah, I'm a, like, raisin bran. 
Yeah, raisin bran. You bread. know that's a gimmick, right? Ain't none of that shit healthy. I know, bro. It's <laughs> Fucking crazy. fruity pebbles and raisin bran got just as much sugar. <laughs> <It's> sugar, right? <laughs> but I would say raisin bran was my favorite, but then I switched to um the oats. What's it called? The honey bunches of oats. Honey bunches of oh, oats. Oh, yeah, that's the that almond shit. version with the honey. Almond, the honey that shit almond. That's good. That's uh, my favorite one now. I'll fuck with that. All right, uh, you're on an island. You only can take three things with you. What you taking? I'm taking my girl. Right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> just one? <laughs> yeah. Just one, man. Just one. Um, some liquor. Alright. And some like music. A vacation. That's a, that's the turn yeah, right like there. Yeah, like some music. That's, that's My a girl, one. liquor, music. I'm goo up. Alright, there it is. Worst job you've ever had. Hmm. I I don't want to say this because <laughs> they nah they taught me a lot. You know what right. I mean? They, it was my first job, but it just wasn't for you. It wasn't for me, but it wasn't my worst. I don't right. think I had a worse job. I feel like every job. But you've had like regular gigs, like you had like re- or is it just I worked in retail. Re- a word? Yeah, I worked in retail and I worked selling at, clothes. Uh, Shake Shack. Oh, you worked that shit? <laughs> yeah, I worked at Shake Shack and I worked at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx was my first page. Y'all job. used to steal from TJ Maxx. <laughs> Real I shit. I used the to people go that and... worked there used to steal from TJ <laughs> you know, Maxx. They, they like... have everything. They don't yes, know. Yes, that's keep, what I'm saying. They don't know what Everybody they got know. in there. Everybody so I would know. That's go the in there with some busted ass like uh-huh. flip flops. It was easy. And some sweats and go put easy. on the shit. Take the shoes, easy. leave my flip flops, and have a whole new outfit. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Sorry, easy to TJ finesse. Mack. Right. Sorry. <laughs> but it was easy to finesse in it. That's the sign. Y'all got to step it up. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, nah, I don't think I had a worse job. Yeah. I can't even give you that one, boss. All right. Um. Most prized possession? Uh, I believe my home. My home. Right. You know what I mean, I'm not. I'm not really like too. Now, is it like your current? Is it a childhood home, a home you just bought, or no, is it a just... home? I, I've been there for two years now. Okay. Like when I first got my big check, you I bought, bought your house. I bought my house out. Like I bought it out. That's fine. You know what I mean? So I've been there for two years, and like that's my spot. That's and an I feel accomplishment. Like that was that's an accomplishment. Real estate. That's what that's real wealth right Absolutely. there. We we rock the the jewelry and the ice and yeah. all that. But that that always bugged me the fuck out too. Like you see all these cats with the crazy drip, but don't own a home. Yo, and I have <laughs> like, good credit. It is like it's not just my home. It's my in my name. Right. Like literally. And it's building. You're, it's build, building, you're currently yeah. building. I'm paying wealth. taxes. I'm paying more. I'm not a mortgage because I bought it out, but I'm right. paying um insurance. And this is my home. Everything is in my name. That's yo, yeah, that's, my that's cars, to be commended. Everything. Yeah, I don't play them games. Oh, so I've cars too? You buy cars cash? It's in my name. Yeah, wow. it's everything. I, my credit, I built my credit, man. My credit cards, everything is in my name. I work. That's what I work there for. There it is. That's the fruits of your labor, working yeah. hard. All right, I got to ask you this. Uh, and this is because I'm, I'm leading with this. Favorite childhood board game? Mm. Something that you was nice at. Cause I know mine. I'm unbeatable in mine. Mon- Monopoly. Oh, you ill with the Monopoly? I'm Monopoly Ill. with the real cash. For some reason, I'm, I'm I have luckiness about me. Like with even the dice. Even yeah. Even with even with the um the um. Damn, how the fuck? CeeLo. Oh yeah. I'm a head Three crack dice. king. Really? I don't play. Yeah. Just say I, you're nice. ill with the dice. I'm ill with the dice. So Monopoly, and I'll say trouble. Trouble. That's, That's the. It's luck. luck. Dice <laughs> yeah, again. It is, it is. Yeah, for some reason, any game with dice, I don't know. I'm just real lucky. Just a, that whole yeah. the bubble shit. Uh, yeah. My shit, Connect Four. Connect Four. Oh, stop. I'm what a, up? A, you ain't you? got that here? <laughs> oh. You <laughs> playing. I'm real. I'll let you be red. Let's go. You could be red out let's here. Let's go. We, we going to oh, get Oh, you had in. this? Oh, let's go. We can get No, because this is what I do. Because I'll be trying. Uh, I'm, I cannot be beat. So much so, right. and I don't even need—I don't even need your money. I believe. But I'm gonna it. tell you, if you beat me, you here, 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 here. you beat okay. me, thousand dollars. You ain't—I don't even just that. If you beat me, that's yours. Right. That's how we do. If I beat you, and I'm gonna let you go first. I'm gonna use that. You just throw it up in the air. Yeah, I'm gonna celebrate with that. <laughs> you go first. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, shit, the, the stackable yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is a lot of money on the line right here. I, I don't get beat in this. It's easy.
<laughs> yeah, you see me over here working? You see me working? She know how to play. <laughs> that was a good move. I didn't expect you to do that one. See, you got to think about five, six moves ahead. I already see where she at with it. I was on offense the whole time. Worried about what you trying to get, then you forget what that person's trying <laughs> exactly. to do. Exactly. That's where you can't mess up at. Mm. See, we, this is when you get, you, get, you get quiet, we get serious up here. Right here. Ooh, that was, that was a good one. That was a good one. Mm. Let's see if I get back on this offense anytime soon. <laughs> I had this shit. All right. This might end up being a cat's game. Because she know what she's doing. Oh, man. I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> All right. Damn, she kicking my ass. I'm gonna go. I don't want to play defense, but Fuck it. got him. Damn, connect four. Yeah. Go. Stop playing with me, Damn it. Stop playing with me. Stop playing ah. with me. Let's go. She beat me. Let's go. Fuck. Let's go. That's good shit. Oh my God. Right, Yoga May, up close and personal, close yes, conversations. Sir. I usually don't get beat at this shit. You, 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 go, you, you the one. You the one. Sorry. I ain't getting beat again. I'm an area. If anybody who wanted. Get beat. Fuck you. How did I? Fuck. How did I see that shit? <laughs> Fuck. Let's get it. Red squad. Red squad. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> there it is. Already. Up close and personal conversations, y'all know what it is. History in the making, Young and May. Let's get to it.